Good day, everyone. Welcome back to Makoga Enterprises. Today's lesson is going to be what is a circuit? So we've discussed already what is electricity. So which we said electricity is an invisible agent that shows itself through lighting, power, and heat, which is very important. So we get to understand now what is a circuit. So a circuit is putting in different electrical or electronics components by the help of a cable or a wire, which has to inter interconnect all these different components together for a particular purpose, or that should have a unique purpose. So when we put all these different devices together, it could either come as a result of us wanting to make sure that we have light in that particular area, or we need power in that particular area to be able to charge our phones or probably charge our laptops, which is very important. So I'll give us two different types of circuits. So we have a series circuit and a parallel circuit. So when we talk of a series circuit, hmm, a series circuit is a circuit that interconnect different components together. In this case, I might be talking of resistors or probably having light points or lamps. So when we put all of them together in this format, it's in series. So in parallel, when we put them in this format as well, it is called parallel circuit. So the difference now between the two of them or probably how do we identify the two of them, we now start looking at the current and the voltage. This is very important. So for series circuit, the current is constant. While for parallel circuit, the current is not constant, it varies. But now what happens is, for series circuit, the voltage is not constant. So we have varying voltage because we have voltage drop in each or different loads that have been connected in that circuit or for the different resistors, as you can see. And then in the case of a parallel circuit, we now have the, the, the voltage, which is identical. So the voltage that you find at the source will be the same voltage that you find in the different respective loads as they are connected or in the different light points as they are connected. This is very important and it's simple to understand. So now we've understood what is a series circuit and then what is a parallel circuit. So we can now drive straight and start doing our connections.